entire three floor townhouse is for rent. And the crazy thing about it is it's the same price as a one bedroom apartment. This is also like the same kind of kitchen you'd find in a house because this is a house you could actually make stuff. Look at this, it's also got a backyard with a little screen door. This is why people are moving to Brooklyn. And this apartment's in a part of Brooklyn where people want to live. We're right by Myrtle Avenue and you've got vegetable markets, crazy looking spray paint and a paint store, which may or may not have anything to do with that. I like this neighborhood, it's convenient but it needs a volume control. This is why it's so loud here. The JZM trains. This is one of those quirky above ground subway platforms. Once you get to the top, everything looks like what you'd expect from a New York City subway. And there's even some really cool stained glass, which is still here surviving. This is where we are. If you want to get into Manhattan, it's quick, less than 20 minutes. It is a crazy busy station pretty much all the time. And that's because people need to go where it goes. And when you come here, there's everything. We're talking fake coffee, checkers, King of Chicken Popeyes. Now this deli on the corner, you might think they only sell bubblegum and sugary energy drinks with Sonic the Hedgehog on them. And you'd partially be right, those items are popular. But you know what else is popular? The home-baked goods they've got here, like those cannolis. And we've got the requisite honey buns, which are next to the fruit by the foot. All right, the best part of that, one uh, energy drink, and a vitamin water. This was $5. They must not know about inflation. This doesn't really taste like anything, actually, and that's probably for the best. Anyways, look at the rest of this neighborhood. You got just business on top of business on top of business. There's more delis. Plus, we've got this local vegetable market with better prices on tomato. What is a tomato? I've never heard of this before. Like a cherry and a tomato had a little baby who's bigger than the cherry. Then they have unripe peppers, riper peppers. There's a lot of science behind that statement. But look at this spray paint. It's like an alien creature coming out of the grocery store. And he's made out of jelly beans. And this place over here will hook you up with a remote start and a boom box for your Honda Civic, which is a few thousand miles overdue for an oil change. You don't need an oil change, but you do need a boom box. There's no getting around it. This is a neighborhood covered in spray paint. But hey, paint prevents rust. And if you don't look past the spray paint, you'll miss out on places like this coffee bagel shop, which are intentionally covered in it. Oh, what's up, buddy? He looks like he knows where he's going. Maybe not. He's coming back this way. Better stay away from him. That is the perfect boombox candidate. Then I saw a delicious looking piece of pizza, which was attached to a pizza parlor. But as it turns out, it was closed until Monday because of a family emergency. And there was a note saying that Mr. G was around the corner in the blue RV. Wondering who this magical person might be, I decided to go check things out for myself. And around the corner, lo and behold, there was a blue and white RV. I think this is it. I don't know who Mr. G is or what he does, but maybe we could find somebody over here who knows. Either way, this neighborhood's got a lot of great restaurants and cafes, like this place with the yellow tables and the outdoor ceiling fan. Who had rollerblade brand rollerblades? I know I sure did. Anyways, this is a sweet part of town. You'll love it here. So rent today's apartment. You think I'm good? I think you're more than good. That's the same bike rack the city of New York uses, man. New York City, baby. Yeah, look at that. Alex, you brought me to a treasure today. Look at this townhouse. This is awesome. It is a triplex, three bedroom, two bath going for $44.99, zero broker fee. Usually three bedrooms is like $6,000. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> What's the total square footage here? 2,650 square feet. Is that interior and outside or just the inside? Just the interior. Is this part of our unit? Yeah, it is. It is, okay. Yeah. Love the old details, like this little light. Also, you could use this as a second entrance depending on how you set this place up. Looks like we got water access. And I just absolutely love the grand entrance here. You walk up these stairs, you got this massive looking door and boom, right away, nice stuff. So there's only two units in the entire building. Here's number one and then we're in number two. That other unit is the only other one you have to deal with. Now I'm not saying that $44.95 is cheap. Of course that's a lot of money, but this is a lot of space for a New York City apartment. I mean, just look at how big it is. Plus we've got multiple floors, an upstairs and a downstairs. I don't know if I have the willpower to buy furniture for something this big. <laughs> I just don't know. 
But the best way to set this up is probably to have a nice sitting area by these windows. They face east, you'll get that sunlight in the morning, it's very bright. Also, as you can see, the street's not loud, there's like nothing going on, my bike is still there. And just past this doorway, we've got the larger part of the living space. This is where you can have those big furniture pieces, that impressive living room set up, that massive TV, you know, all the stuff that's gonna make you broke if you don't go to Ikea, which you should do. To make it simple, TV there, coffee table. Have the couch kind of where Alex is, that way there's space to get downstairs or upstairs. That's right, we have an attic and a basement and some really cool lights everywhere. Every apartment has this in New York City. That's true, modern heating. Almost forgot to open this. It's your coat closet. And it's in the right place, plus there's a bar to hang stuff. And luckily, big apartments need big, nice kitchens, and that's exactly what we've got here. All the appliances are new. The kitchen's got big windows, a big sink, and there's like five miles of counter space. That is some solid water pressure. How new is this kitchen? Is it brand new, a couple of tenants old? It looks fantastic. It was renovated just a couple of years ago, obviously in very good condition. So nice seeing all full-size appliances. This is brand new, this dishwasher. The oven. Oh, it's fancy. Look at that blue inside. My oven doesn't do that. <laughs> Look at all these buttons on the fridge. This must be what astronauts use on Elon Musk's space station. Look at this tile. Someone cared enough to put that in. Your landlord ain't Bob the slumlord. This table also matches perfectly. I'm glad this comes with the place. And it's just so crazy that we're in a city that an apartment the same size as just this kitchen costs more than this. And that's your bed, not your table. Nice vent with a light where the bulb works. Cabinets are fancy easy to reach. Then over here we have something. Oh, it's a closet. Which becomes the portal to a magical land of storage. Yes, sir. I thought this was where the laundry was gonna be. There is laundry, there's a whole laundry room downstairs. The craziest thing about this apartment is that the backyard is an absolute monster. In a good way, look at these cool lamp posts, these lovebirds, and on the other side of these string lights, you can see that there's more space out here than there is inside. And there's this cool park bench. I guess we'll uh, work on doing the limbo with the string lights here. I'm actually shocked by how quiet it is out here, and I like the minimal setup. The park benches are nice, the lamp stands are awesome, and you've got trees over over there, this is the neighboring building, this is us. It's a relatively private environment. You don't have like skyscrapers peering down on you. You could even get an above ground pool out here. And a slip and slide. What is this, like some sort of bird feeder? Now at the bottom of the steps, we've got the grill, and this little area is perfect for an outdoor dining. It's so close to where the kitchen is. There's a power outlet over here, which means you could take an old refrigerator and just plug it in, leave it out here, keep it full of cold drinks. Under the stairs, storage, that's New York for you. I just can't believe how much outdoor spaces is. This place is like all about bang for your buck value. Oh, Alex, whose windows are these? These belong to the apartment as well, one of the bedrooms. Okay, cool. Yeah. So the only people looking out here are people that you live with, like that creepy guy you met on Craigslist down there in the basement. We've also got some foliage. I don't know if these are gonna grow up to be palm trees or not. They are actually going to. Oh, really? Yeah. Scientists wearing a pink shirt over here. <laughs> Here's some more of them. They are definitely something. They look awesome. And I've seen places for sale that were townhouses that had smaller backyards than this. The first bedroom we're gonna check out is the one upstairs. It's got crazy big windows, lots of doors, very well lit for a bedroom in New York, and it's got some character. Okay. This is an attic, an right? Attic, it's also a bedroom number one. I love it. What do you think? King size bed? King size easily. Check out the space. 13 feet long, 11 feet wide. Three amazing windows, air conditioner. Oh, this thing is awesome, man. I bet it works real well. Because it's big, we've also got a free case of cable ties. You know how annoying it is when you don't have those. We've also got an extraordinary amount of closet space up here. And we have our own attached full-size bath, which to me looks like it might be newly renovated. This is nice, look at this nice big mirror. Fancy schmancy shower deal, bathtub for having yourself a soap. Like this guy right here who's swamped with work. Is that the symbolism of this? That was me when I was an accountant at Deloitte. I'm glad they hired me and I'm glad that I left. 
but you are not gonna leave this bathroom. You know why it has a wooden toilet seat, a towel holder, a shelf, and one of those cute little things for your toothbrush. Also, I like the gray with the wood right there. Someone knew what they were doing. And the best thing about this place is that the other bedrooms, there are two flights down in the basement, so there's lots of separation between you and your roommates, no matter which room you get. Since the other bedrooms were in the basement, I really wasn't expecting much, but when I got down here, I realized that it's pretty big. The rooms look sunny, and they might even be bigger than the one we saw upstairs. And even if the view's not the same, I think these will still be great options for whoever's sharing. This is great. If this wasn't a laundry room, it could have been that fourth bedroom. Definitely. <laughs> or your crazy relative could sleep over there on a small cot. But look at this, real machines. And you're not competing with basement laundry with any other apartments. Man, these are yours. Comes with some free OxyClean and that laundry room artwork every laundry room in New York has to have. Check out this bathroom. You walk into the tub area and this, come over here, Alex. Look at this rain shower head. I don't know if that's regulation size. I don't think so, man. This is like a rainforest in here. I never actually took a good look at that. It's freaking huge. It's massive, right? Yeah. Got a nice sink down here, fancy mirror. Great styling in this bathroom, and that's good that it's a full size because we've got two bedrooms on this level, and you're gonna be using this. Lights not turning on, but Dude, it's a lot of space. A lot of storage. Yeah. This apartment, man, everything about it's good. And look at the size of these bedrooms, man. They're big, they're bright. Ground floor basement, New York City. You don't feel that this is gonna be the result of that. Lights look cool. And the closet space in here is also massive. We got two of these big guys. Oh, what do we got in here? A PS5? Oh no. A uh, Linux, Linksys router. And a full length mirror, look at that. Another massive AC that looks like it could cool a Russian submarine. Oh, look at that dimmer switch. Make getting a little romantic up in here, Alex. <laughs> but wait, there's more. On the other side of this door, which is locked with Three different locks. This is that second entry. You got your brooms, you got your snow shovels, but you could use this as your entry and your exit. And this is gonna be great if you're feuding with your roommates and you just wanna come in here and, you know, be away from them. You could be in here with your little rock garden. It makes a perfectly good entrance, so I guess if you wanted a different configuration here, that would allow you to do it. The last bedroom, this guy, look how sunny that is. AC here as well. And again, lots of light. We're facing the street here. And even though this might very well be the smallest room, by New York standards, it's massive. It's our storage. Can't get enough of it. Yeah. Look at that closet. It's amazing. If you want an amazing place at an amazing price, Alex has it. Absolutely. See you in the next video.